Chapter 2431, Eavesdropping, 1. Somehow, the scene before her was not the wailing well but a blue-green valley. An indescribable smell permeated the air. Yi Qingtong felt that this smell was somewhat familiar. She could clearly remember being attacked by that above emperor level monster. Why had she suddenly appeared in this valley? Just as Yi Qingtong was feeling befuddled. Sounds of fighting drifted over. Yi Qingtong instinctively hid behind a large tree and several figures suddenly flashed before her eyes. The figures left Yi Qingtong stunned by the sight. Several demons were sprinting vigorously. A heavily injured demon was desperately running in front, with several behind in close pursuit. They appeared intent on catching it, and that demon being chased looked exceptionally familiar to Yi Qingtong. Who? Yi Qingtong was taken aback. Wasn't this who from the East Demon faction in the Cursed Land? What was going on? Could it be that she had returned to the Cursed Land? Since Yi Qingtong pretended to be a demon to stay hidden in the East Demon faction and inadvertently obtained the Deity Ocean, the East faction had been pursued by the other demon camps. Thereafter, Yi Qingtong had used the Deity Ocean to leave the Cursed Land. She never imagined that she would return one day. Who was still being chased and this meant that the other demons had not stopped pursuing the East Faction. Could it be the Deity Ocean inside her sensed the danger she was in and teleported her here? Yi Qingtong could not understand what had happened. In the next moment, she felt dizzy and the valley disappeared before her eyes to be replaced by a bone-chilling cold. When Yi Qingtong opened her eyes again, it was dark and blurry. It was like there was a layer of frozen ice before her, engulfed by the chilly air. Yi Qingtong could feel the deity ocean inside her vibrate, its power gradually fading away. It looked like she had guessed correctly. At the moment of imminent death, the deity ocean had been activated and she was transported back to the cursed land. But now, where was she? Yi Qingtong was not sure. After the deity ocean transported her out of the cursed land, she was now trapped beneath a lake that had frozen over. Thick ice layers had formed over the surface of the lake under which she now was trapped. The strangest thing was when Yi Qingtong looked downward, there was no water around her at all. It was just an empty space and she was floating in the darkness. It was pitch black beneath her, with no end in sight. Just as Yi Qingtong wanted to try and break through the ice, Two figures suddenly appeared by the side of the lake. Yi Qingtong immediately halted when she noticed those two figures. One of them was Jin Qian Yang, the Heaven Dome Academy teacher whom Yi Qingtong had met in passing in the North Hall. A slender, delicate looking teenage girl stood beside Jin Qian Yang. She was not wearing the uniform of the Heaven Dome Academy, but that of the East Tomb Academy. The East Tomb Academy was not well known in the Second Domain. They were not at all comparable to elite schools like the Heaven Dome Academy, but in this year's Inter Academy competition, the East Tomb Academy had suddenly performed outstandingly. The sole reason was this teenage girl, who had won the top position in the individual martial arts competition. Hash, Chapter 2432, Eavesdropping. Two. Yi Qingtun had not paid too much attention to that but she heard Liu Sheng say that the East Tomb Academy had sent a girl to the competition. If Yi Qingtun was right, this girl standing beside Jin Qian Yang should be the one. Why were these two together here? Yi Qingtun couldn't resist feeling curious. She suddenly recalled something which had been nagging at her. How those from the Heaven Dome Academy had seemed to know of the Inter Academy competition rules beforehand. That day during the chess matches, Xing Rong had accidentally revealed this information and it had attracted Yi Qingtong's attention. Jin Qian Yang and the girl from the East Tomb Academy did not realize that there was someone beneath the frozen water surface. The two of them came to a stop by the side of the lake. What's going on with the teleportation talismans? Jin Qian Yang looked very unhappy. Earlier, they had attacked a team from another academy, knowing they no longer had a chance to win. That team's teacher had crushed the teleportation talisman, ready to bring his team out of the wailing well. But the teleportation talisman failed to work. The teenage girl smiled as she gazed at the distressed looking Jin Qian Yang. Teacher Jin, why are you so anxious? It was just an accident. Accident? When the Heaven Dome Academy came to an agreement with you guys, there was no mention of this, was there? Jin Qian Yang frowned. The teenage girl replied, Teacher Jin. 
Calm down, we already told your academy of the rules beforehand. I am sure you already made the necessary preparations. We have cooperated well this whole time. Why get upset over such a small matter? Small matter? Jin Qian Yang's face turned cold. You never told us about those above emperor level monsters inside the Wailing Well, the teenage girl said. We came to an agreement to let the Heaven Dome Academy reap the biggest rewards in this year's Inter Academy competition. The prize for winning the team competition is the best. Everything we have done is just to ensure that we fulfill our agreement. Jin Qian Yang was looking extremely grim. He grabbed the teenage girl's shoulder. I don't care what tricks you guys are up to. Those above Emperor level monsters are already far beyond what my students can handle. And now the teleportation talismans are defective. You need to let us leave this place now. The teenage girl appeared unafraid of Jin Qian Yang's threat and only maintained her smile. Of course, Teacher Jin, don't worry. Haven't I led you to the exit now? What? Jin Qian Yang was taken aback. The teenage girl turned to look at the frozen lake surface. Although the teleportation talismans are defective, Teacher Jin can lead your students to the bottom of this frozen lake. The Wailing Well's exit is right there. Jin Qian Yang was stunned before his eyes turned to look at the surface of the frozen lake. Yi Kington had been hiding there all along and didn't expect them to turn their attention to the lake. She thought that she was about to be exposed but realized that Jin Qian Yang and the teenage girl looked like they couldn't see beneath the surface. She was clearly just beside them but they remained oblivious. Are you speaking the truth? Jin Qian Yang narrowed his eyes, he moved his hand upward and gripped the teenage girl's neck, the teenage girl remained unmoved, she answered in a docile manner, of course I am, our goal is simple, we only want the people from the other academies to be buried here, the Heaven Dome Academy is our partner, how could we go back on our word to you, Jin Qian Yang smirked, you'd better make sure your words are true, taking the lives of so many elite youths from so many academies, what the hell do you guys plan to do, hash, chapter 2433, eavesdropping, 3, whatever our plans are, it will not affect the Heaven Dome Academy, after all, this catastrophe faced by the other academies will greatly reduce their power, and the Heaven Dome Academy will benefit the most from that, as long as we both benefit, there is no need to know the details, the teenage girl remarked dryly, Jin Qian Yang glanced at the teenage girl impassively before loosening his grip, hidden under the ice, Yi Kington overheard their entire conversation, the more she heard, the more shocked she became, the Heaven Dome Academy indeed knew of the rules beforehand and that teenage girl who the hell was she? She could not possibly just be a normal student from a school like the East Tomb Academy. And based on what they said, they wanted to bury all the other teams in here. Yi Kingtung frowned slightly. The most worrying thing was those above Emperor level monsters. The appearance of those monsters was indeed no coincidence. And from the conversation she just overheard, it was clear that the teenage girl already knew of everything. As for the appearance of those monsters, it was very possible that it had been engineered by the powers backing this teenage girl. Who the hell was she? Just as Yi Kington was filled with endless queries, she saw Jin Gyeon Yang take out the little ball from his space ring. He had hidden the ball inside earlier. That ball would follow every team, recording everything. Yi Kington had also once tried to hide the ball inside her space ring but did not succeed. But somehow Jin Kion Yang was able to do it. Just as Jin Kion Yang was about to release the ball, there was a sudden cracking sound. In the next second, the entire ball shattered. Before Jin Kion Yang realized what was happening, he suddenly felt a cold sensation at the back of his neck. With no time to react, he collapsed to the ground, and his head rolled to the side of the lake. The teenage girl had somehow moved behind Jin Kion Yang. A faint smile curled up at the corners of her lips. Her fingers were stained with blood as she gazed imperiously at the beheaded Jin Kion Yang. Jin Kion Yang was more powerful than Yi Kington, but he had been oblivious to the danger behind him. Even Yi Kington, who had been hiding beneath the ice layer, did not manage to catch a clear look at the teenage girl's attack. This meant that this teenage girl's powers were far beyond that of Yi Kington and Jin Kion Yang. 
The girl lifted her hand slightly and Jin Qian Yang's body and head were instantly turned to ash. The ashes swirled with the wind and the teenage girl suddenly morphed into Jin Qian Yang's exact image. Taking out a set of clothes from her space ring which was identical to Jin Qian Yang's, she changed into it before disappearing into the forest behind. Meanwhile, the real Jin Qian Yang had already disintegrated into ashes, disappearing without a trace. Apart from Yi Qingdong, who had witnessed everything from beneath the ice layer, no one else knew that Jin Qian Yang had been replaced by a copy. After waiting for a while to ensure that the teenage girl had really left, Yi Qingdong finally tried breaking out from under the ice. When she finally emerged and looked back at the frozen surface, she discovered that the spot from which she had emerged did not bear any signs of rupture. The ice layer was like an illusion. No wonder Jin Qian Yang and the teenage girl hadn't noticed her. Even so, this realization did not cheer Yi King Tung up even a little. It was apparent that the teenage girl wanted to make use of this team competition to kill off all the student participants. She had come to a prior agreement with the Heaven Dome Academy, but who would have expected her to suddenly turn around and kill Jin Qian Yang before taking on his appearance? Hash, Chapter 2434, Suspicions, 1. Yi King Tung gazed forward her expression calm. This wailing well was rather interesting. At this point, Yi Kington was deep in thought. Since the competition started, she had felt that things were a bit off. After entering the wailing well, everything had just spun out of control. Just those above emperor level monsters alone were enough to prove that things were abnormal. The wailing well was no friendly place. The academies couldn't have been so careless. They would have investigated all team competition venues thoroughly before allowing their students to enter. However, this wailing well had been an exception. The various academies did not get the chance to investigate the location, but Universe City had assured them that their own men had checked it. Why didn't the Universe City discover any above Emperor level monsters during their investigation? In addition, why had the teleportation talismans suddenly failed to work? The defective teleportation talismans were no accident. All the talismans had been defective. It was like someone had planned it. Yi Kington grew increasingly calm as she started to link up all the different incidents. Everything had been part of a huge setup, and the teams who entered the Wailing Well were praised to be hunted in this trap. But even now that the situation was clear, they still could not use the teleportation talismans to leave the Wailing Well, and no one could handle those above Emperor level monsters. This was a place in hell where one was sent to die. Even E. Kington was unable to come up with any good solution. But it seemed that the illusion of a nice lake appeared to be the only exit. Nevertheless, now that things had come to this, Yi Kington could not just leave and abandon those students she had brought in. She had to bring them out with her. Meanwhile, in the outside world. Through the image transmitted by the ball, Wen Chi frowned deeply as he watched Liu Sheng's team encounter those terrifying above Emperor level monsters just moments after entering the Wailing Well. Liu Sheng's team was annihilated. No one survived. How could this be? Veins popped up on the vice president's forehead. Wen Chi was not the only one. The other academy leaders also expressed their sympathy when they saw what happened to Liu Sheng's team. They grew increasingly worried for their own men. Have we yet to find the Universe City people? When she stood up and shouted in rage, the Academy leaders shook their heads. We have been searching non stop, but those Universe City people seemed to have left no traces behind at all. It was like they had never been here before. I think we won't be able to find them so soon. Humphrey, one of the Academy leaders, snorted. No matter what, we must root them out. Even if we have to turn over the entire place. That's right. The Universe City folks were the ones who insisted on using the Wailing Well. They are definitely linked to what's happening now. Actually, on second thought, not only did the Universe City people insist on the Wailing Well, but they were also the ones who set the rule that no special artifacts are allowed. And after the appearance of the above Emperor level monster, the Universe City folks have all disappeared without a trace. There's no way they are not connected to this matter. Hash, Chapter 2435, Suspicions, 2. The various academies and Universe City had worked together for so many years and no such incident had happened in the past before. This was why the academy leaders didn't think too much about it at the beginning. But as more time passed, 
As blind as the academy leaders had been, they now realized that there were just too many things that had gone wrong. The university people were definitely involved in this. No matter what, we have to find those university folks. If this is really some devious plan of theirs, I will tear them apart. The eyes of one of the academy leaders flashed with cold light. The students enrolled in the various academies were their lifeblood. They were the future of the academies many of them belonging to all sorts of powerful family clans. Some even had royal relations. If these prominent descendants ended up dying in the Wailing Well just because they had participated in a normal inter-academy competition, how were they going to explain these to the family clans? How were they going to answer for their deaths? For today's catastrophe, regardless of universe city's role in it, every single academy at present had an undeniable responsibility. If they hadn't been so pliant toward those universe city people and had insisted on understanding the situation more, today's crisis might have been avoided. The various academies had been competing against each other for so many years, but when faced with such a situation, they miraculously all came together. The universe city had to answer to them, answer to those dead children and answer to their family clans. Wen Chi, look, just as Wen Chi was stewing in anger, one of the academy leaders exclaimed as he watched the screen beside Wen Chi. What? Wen Chi asked. Look at that screen, the academy leader said. Wen Chi turned toward the screen and was stunned by the image. The screen was showing Liu Sheng's team, who had all been annihilated. A youth was now walking within the lifeless scene. Yi King, when she was astonished when he saw the face of that youth, he was filled with disbelief. How can it be? The academy leaders immediately crowded over to look at the screen in front of Wen Qi. They looked amazed. They had all personally witnessed just how formidable Yi King's above emperor level monster was. There was no doubt that he had a 0% chance of survival. But now, that youth who should have been utterly destroyed had appeared on the screen in a completely unharmed state. How could one even begin to explain that? Just as everyone was filled with disbelief, the Heaven Dome Academy Vice President suddenly frowned. He stared at the stunned Wen Chi. Wen Chi this might not be an appropriate time for me to voice out certain things, but Yi King died right before our eyes. And now, he has appeared again, completely unharmed. Shouldn't you say something about that? Wen Chi met the eyes of the Heaven Dome Academy Vice President. What do you mean by that? What do I mean? The Heaven Dome Academy Vice President gave a cold laugh. A person who should be dead reappearing well and alive before us. Isn't that strange enough? The other Academy leaders fell into deep thought after hearing the Heaven Dome Academy Vice President's words. Hash, Chapter 2436, Suspicions, 3. The group had not considered that angle earlier but after the Heaven Dome Academy Vice President's comments, they couldn't help having the same suspicions. It was undeniable. The screen had clearly shown the Netherworld Academy teacher Yi's death. Faced with an above emperor level monster, it was impossible to survive. It would be the same fate for anyone. Now that Yi King had reappeared, how could they explain it? The minds of the group were hypersensitive now. They already suspected the Wailing Well to be a trap and now Yi King had been resurrected. Zetong, what are you trying to imply? Are you suspecting Yi King of being one of the masterminds behind the Wailing Well trap? When she stood up, the joy of seeing Yi King alive again had been dispelled by the Heaven Dome Academy Vice President's suspicion. All that was left now was white hot fury. Without waiting for the Heaven Dome Academy Vice President to reply, when she continued, I get it now. You are suspecting that our Netherworld Academy is the mastermind behind the Wailing Well affair. This also means that you think the Netherworld Academy is in cahoots with the Universe City people? When she was enraged, if the Netherworld Academy is the mastermind, will we send our own students in? Didn't you see how Liu Sheng died? Or are you blind? Zetong gave a cold laugh. Wen Qi, why are you so angry? When did I accuse the Netherworld Academy of being the mastermind? I have only mentioned Yi King. But I must say that the Netherworld Academy's losses are the smallest amongst the rest of us, right? Everyone fell into deep thought at this. Zetong's words were not without reason. If they were to make some calculations, the Netherworld Academy had only lost one student and Liu Sheng's team. Even the Netherworld Academy's greatest loss, Yi King, 
had now reappeared alive and well, Wen Qi's anger deflated, to be honest, Wen Qi didn't blame Zhu Tong, if it were him, he would have had the same suspicions, I believe in Yi King, I can guarantee that he has nothing to do with this affair, moreover, who here can say that they saw Yi King actually die? Wen Qi stated in a chilly voice, okay, then tell us how did Yi King make it out alive, don't tell me he is also an above emperor level practitioner, he was able to escape from that monster's fatal attack, his speed was so fast that even we failed to spot it, Zetong insisted, space technique, one of the leaders suddenly spoke up, silence fell across the hall, space technique was a peerless divine technique, rumor had it that in the entire second domain, only that legendary figure had that ability, ha 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 ha, Zetong afford, the peerless divine space technique, are you kidding me, why don't you just say that Yi King is actually that legendary person from the temple of Paragon, even when she wouldn't believe that, space technique there was no way Yi King could control space, when she didn't even believe that he would know much of the space technique, like Zetong, when she knew that it was impossible, I was just raising a point, if one uses the space technique, Escape from that monster is possible. I am not claiming that Yi King knows the space technique. The academy leader shook his head. He also had no idea why such a ridiculous idea suddenly popped into his head. Space technique. Hash. Chapter 2437. Suspicions. 4. Space technique was not just your usual martial art technique. It was a very mysterious ability concerning the enigmatic realm of space. Even the most talented second domain practitioners who specialized in the study of space were not able to properly explain the space technique. It was said that the space technique was derived from the time technique. If one could master the space technique, he would be able to easily pass through all dimensions of space. As for the time technique, it was even more mysterious and unfathomable. One would be able to peer into the future and reach back into the past. Naturally, the space technique was not a technique for your everyday person. Rumor had it that there was a space lord bloodline in one of the high level martial arts mainlands, and all those of that bloodline were able to control space. In the second domain, only that legendary person from the Temple of Paragon was rumored to have the space technique. No one else had it. So when she found it difficult to believe that Yi King knew the space technique and made use of it to escape the above emperor level monster. There were so many things he needed clarification on but there was no way to communicate with Yi King now. Vice President Zetong, Vice President Wen Qi, I feel that this is not the time to argue over this. If there is really something wrong with Yi King. I believe the Netherworld Academy is also in the dark, Yi King's resurrection is definitely strange, but at this stage, it also doesn't seem right to say that the Wailing Well affair is connected to Yi King or the Netherworld Academy, we need to wait for Yi King to come out to clarify matters, until then, we just have to keep observing one of the Academy leaders spoke up, meanwhile, Inside the Wailing Well, Yi Qingtong looked at the dead Liu Sheng and his team and a slight frown appeared on her face. She had detected the thick stench of blood earlier but never expected it to be from Liu Sheng and these men. Liu Sheng had shown extra care and concern for her while she was in the Netherworld Academy. She felt very upset at his wretched death. Even so, there was nothing she could do now to change things. She might not even be able to leave this Wailing Well alive. After some deep thought, Yi Qingtong went over to the remains of Liu Sheng and his team. Death by a single strike, they would not have suffered much. That's not right. Liu Sheng shouldn't be inside the Wailing Well. Yi Qingtong muttered to herself. Liu Sheng was not on the list of teachers or students bound for the Wailing Well. Also, apart from Liu Sheng, there were the bodies of several Netherworld Academy staff. They were not students or teachers and should not have appeared in the Wailing Well. Yi Qingtong finally understood after mulling over it. It was probably due to the video recording ball. The outside world already knew of the Wailing Well situation and about the defective teleportation talismans. As a full Yuo Sheng and his team, if Yi Qingtong guessed correctly, the vice president had probably sent them into the Wailing Well after discovering the anomalies. Searching the area, Yi Qingtong tried to see if Liu Sheng and his team had any clues or information on them. She did not find any, but she found quite a number of special artifacts. Yi Qingtong even found her own space ring. Most of those special artifacts were the items left on the outside by the Netherworld Academy teams, 
as they had not been allowed to bring them into the whaling well. Chapter 2438, Devious Ploy, 1. After knowing of the situation inside the whaling well, the vice president probably had Liu Sheng bring these things in. Collecting all of the items brought in by Liu Sheng, Yi Qingtong left without turning back. The whaling well was full of danger. Every second inside here held the threat of death and disaster. Although it was unfortunate, Yi Qingtong did not have time to give Liu Sheng and his team a proper burial. She had a more urgent mission, and that was to find her students. But Yi Qingtong had also mentally prepared herself for the worse. She had been facing an above emperor level monster when she was transported away by the deity ocean. Yi Qingtong had no idea what happened after she left. She did not dare to make any predictions either. Going by the powers of Nan Gong Lai, Qin Feng and the rest, there was no way they could hold themselves against an above emperor level monster. But Yi Qingtong remembered that during her final moments, Nan Gong Lai, Lei Yan and the others were already some distance away from the monster. If they chose to run in the opposite direction then, there was a small chance that they managed to escape alive. Just a small chance but at least it was not zero percent. Yi Qingtong had been traveling inside the Wailing Well for two days, spending every minute and second searching for traces of Mu Zying and her group. She had to find them alive or at least see their dead bodies. Without either. Yi Qingtun would not give up. The previous evening, Yi Qingtun found the spot where she last disappeared. But she didn't find any of her students' bodies, not even any traces of the Flying Star Academy people or Liu Anxiang's team. If they had really perished under the hands of the above Emperor level monster, there would be traces of them. Even if the bodies were not whole, there would be remnants left behind. But after another full day of searching, she didn't manage to find any signs of Lei Yan. Qin Feng and the rest. Yi Qingtong moved extremely cautiously inside the Wailing Well. She also personally witnessed several teams from the other academies destroyed by above Emperor level monsters. It was rather chilly at night. A suffocating sense of oppression permeated the air. Yi Qingtong sat atop a tall tree, constantly surveying her surroundings. Those above Emperor level monsters would become more active at night. The ground shook constantly as if some hidden terror was deep underground. Could it be that there's something? underground. Yi Qingtong frowned as she gazed afar. The tremors became increasingly intense. Compared to the previous two days, the vibration was clearly different now. Those monsters all seemed to come from underground. There must be some linkage there between these two factors. In addition, there was that mysterious girl at the Illusion Ice Lake two days ago. As stupid as Yi Qingtong might be, she was able to link everything together and guess that there was something extraordinary inside the Wailing Well. Don't tell me the appearance of those above Emperor level monsters is due to. Yi Qingtong frowned as she mulled over this. The image of the girl at the illusory ice lake appeared in her mind's eye again. The teams who entered the Wailing Well were no match for those above Emperor level monsters at all. What puzzled Yi Qingtong the most was if the girl was really able to control those monsters. Why did she have to trick the academy students and teachers into coming into their wailing well? What was the motive behind such an action? She clearly possessed very high powers, so there was no need for her to waste time with these petty tricks. Or perhaps she was not their one controlling those monsters? Hash, Chapter 2439, Devious Ploy, 2. As the thoughts continued to circle within her mind, Yi Qingtong felt a headache coming along. At the end of the day, Everything that had happened, whether it was part of some nefarious scheme or something else had nothing to do with her. All these were not carried out against her. Yi Qingtong didn't wish to get involved in a messy situation and had no intention of probing the matter. In her previous life, Yi Qingtong had no grand illusions about the way of things. She had her own set of principles and stood aloof from matters that did not concern her. But after being reborn. Her principles from her previous life had once and again been broken. Inside the Wailing Well, Yi Kington could have escaped in one piece but she chose to stay without any hesitation. How could she abandon Qin Feng, Nan Gong Lai and the rest of them? Yi Kington never treated the Netherworld Academy as her home, but even so, the President and Vice President had treated her with true sincerity. She admitted to herself that she could not just leave now and cut off all ties with the Netherworld Academy. The harsh wind was bone-chillingly cold in the deep night. Atop a tall tree, 
Yi Qingtong slowly opened her eyes and gave a soft sigh, the wailing well was just too strange, there was the ever-present threat of those above emperor level monsters, one could not let down one's guard for even a second, otherwise, death might have been served at any time, in her previous life, she had lived a wretched existence, being reborn was the greatest gift from the heavens, in this life, she had also experienced way too much and had also encountered all sorts of situations before, was the wailing well more strange than the dragon vein mystic realm, more weird than the immortal and buddha mystic realm, more dangerous than all the life and death situations she had experienced in the first mainland, Yi Kington had high ambitions, she wanted to fully explore the wider martial arts world and find her birth parents, she also wanted to get to the bottom of the mystery behind her heart of the heavenly Dao, how could she die in this stupid wailing well, this was just a stumbling block in her real path, a stumbling block that was obstructing her raging ambitions, Yi Qingtong swore that she would crush every single stumbling block that tried to prevent her from moving forward, the tremors have stopped, after some time, Yi Qingtong surveyed her surroundings as she muttered to herself, over the past few days, Yi Kington closely observed any changes on the ground surface, every day, toward the latter part of the night, the tremors will lessen, and sometimes even come to a complete stop, although she had no idea what this meant, she did not care, all she wanted was to find Qin Feng, Nan Gong Lai and the rest, as for the changes underground and those above emperor level monsters, they were none of her business, at this point, Yi Kington was standing atop the tall tree, surveying her surroundings, every time the tremors completely stopped, those monsters would also halt their activity, the latter part of the night in the wailing well was comparatively safer, there was a water spring several thousand meters away up ahead, without any hesitation, Yi Kington flew toward that spring, it was dead silent in the deep night, there were no bird cries or cicadas singing, it was like they were completely cut off from nature, all that was left was the whistle of a passing cold wind, as she had spotted the spring from afar, it didn't appear too big, but when she arrived at the spot, Yi Qingtong realized that the water spring was ridiculously expansive, even more astonishing was the fact that there were no traces of blood at all inside that spring, Hash. Chapter 2440, Big Yellow Dog, Yi Qingtong immediately used her hands to scoop up some water to drink, the spring water was crisp and sweet, after several days of strong winds, Yi Qingtong was covered in dirt and dust, looking at the clear spring waters, Yi Qingtong couldn't resist, she shed her fake male identity, letting down her waist length, black hair, the wind was harsh and cold, but it was nothing to Yi Qingtong, feeling relaxed, she washed away the dirt on her body, Yi Qingtun soaked inside the spring, it had been a long time since she felt so relaxed, since the central mainland and even while she was in the second domain, she had been on her guard, fighting with her wits or fists every minute of the day, it was way too long since she enjoyed this level of relaxation, just as Yi Qingtun was enjoying this rare treat, she suddenly stiffened when she caught sight of something from the corner of her eye, she dragged her clothes, which she had placed by the side of the spring, into the water and put them back on, a pair of black eyes were staring at her about half a foot away, Yi Qingtong frowned deeply, but after she got a clear look, she gradually relaxed, it was a dog, also soaking in the spring, its head was above the surface, two ears standing straight up and staring at Yi Qingtong, human and dog exchanged looks, sizing each other up, Yi Kington was feeling rather puzzled, how did a dog appear in a dangerous place like the wailing well, and Yi Kington was sure that it was a dog and not some demon, it was an ordinary dog like those kept by families to guard the house, although it was very strange for a dog to appear like this, Yi Kington didn't think too much of it, after all, dogs were a common creature, why are you inside the spring? Yi Qingtong smiled at the dog, aren't you cold, what happened next went completely beyond Yi Qingtong's expectations, it's still alright, the temperature is fine but the waters are a bit too deep, it's an effort for me to keep paddling, the dog replied candidly in human language, Yi Qingtong was dazed by the fact that this dog could speak, her smile froze on her face, this little dog did it just speak, normal animals were different from demons, especially for a common creature like this dog, 
she had never heard of a dog who could speak. What kind of thing are you? Yi King Tung snapped out of her trance. In the blink of an eye, she leapt out of the spring onto the shore, all the while staring guardedly at the dog. Having lived so many years, Yi King Tung never expected that she would ever be so guarded against a common dog. The dog looked rather annoyed at Yi King Tung's comments. So rude. What do you mean by thing? Am I a thing? I am not just a thing. Can't you see with your eyes what am I? Yi King Tung, are you really a dog? Yi King Tung asked. Yi King Tung swore that this thing inside the spring was no demon. It was clearly a common dog, the type used to guard houses. Dog? Did you just call me a dog? The dog stared at Yi Kington, are you joking, aren't you a dog? Yi Kington was confused, of course not, 